The Spanish flu was the last major pandemic that we saw aggressively test health systems and um, around the globe. Um, ventilators and the capacity to uh, intubate patients in such a way that we can significantly manage the complications of a disease like this. And we also have the um, capacity to more effectively sanitize and hygienically treat people in hospital spaces. And I think we also have the capacity to uh, respond more effectively as individuals because of our generally higher levels and, and capacity for um, hygiene to wash our hands. We have access to clean water. All of these things that make it easier to, um, to sanitize the spaces that we live in and protect ourselves from COVID-19. After World War I, health systems were already uh, shattered. People were uh, weakened and compromised in general as a result of years of one of the most disastrous wars humanity has ever known. And as a result of people traveling back and forth from war zones to their home or refugees traveling back to their homelands, you had a lot of movement of people who were able to carry the disease more effectively than you might have outside of the context of war. A lot of our strategies today would look very similar to those that took place during uh, the Spanish flu, i.e. social distancing practices, refraining from um, going to large events, uh, no shaking hands, frequent hand washing. All of this would look very similar to the sort of responses that were um, strongly encouraged in, in 1918, 1919. The comparisons to the Spanish flu and the and COVID-19 should make us realize the potential severity of this epidemic. If people lack access to health care, if people lack access to services as a result of this epidemic, then, you know, obviously it's very much a moment where we need to stand up, take notice and, and, and take care of this pressing health concern.